Should your wedding vendors have a website, social media, and a professional email? Hey guys, welcome to Wedding Tips by Joe. My name is Joe, I'm the creative director for Orange Flow, and today we're continuing our series on five things that every single vendor needs. The first reason that your vendors need a website and social media is that it provides an online gallery of their work. Do not book any vendor unless you have seen their work. Social media has a unique benefit in that almost every single wedding vendor out there tags the couples or other vendors from the weddings in their posts, so you can actually verify that the pictures you see actually belong to that vendor. Sadly, there are many vendors out there these days that are actually using other people's work and presenting it as their own. So when vendors tag couples on social media in their posts, it actually gives you an extra layer of security to make sure that this vendor is presenting their own work. When you're looking at their websites, be sure to check out the domain and see is it a custom domain or is it something like weddingdj.wixsite.com. That would show that they don't have a professional domain, which means they're either using a free website builder, maybe they don't have enough money to invest in their business or they just don't understand what a professional website looks like. If a vendor only has a social media profile or they only post work on their own social media and they have no website, to me that's a concern that this might not actually be a real business, this might just be someone's hobby. When it comes to all these things, including professional email, they're all a sign that someone has business acumen. It's something that we talk a lot about on this channel. Just because someone has a hobby or skill or passion does not mean that they are qualified to run a business. A professional Professional email is probably the least common of these three things, and in my opinion, this is a small thing, but it also is a big thing in terms of, do you understand how business works? Do you understand how to be professional? Again, should you be running your own business? I will say that for multiple years, I did not have a professional email. The reason is I had another full-time job I was really, really passionate about. I only did two to four weddings a year, and 99% of those were people I knew or referrals. Now, I did still have a website and social media, so people could still verify that I was legit. So if you ask me why I didn't have a professional email for a few years, that would be why. And I encourage you again, ask any vendor, anything that concerns you, anything that you're not seeing, ask them why, hear them out, and then you're gonna have to judge for yourself. Do I trust this person or is this kind of sketchy? That's all we got today, guys. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.